What's going on guys? Today we're going to be starting probably a new series on Doki Doki Literature Club and I've heard that this game can be a little creepy and so I decided to hop in on it and even though it's been out for a few years it's trending now so might as well hop on it and if you guys do like the series please show that by hitting the like button and if you guys are new around here please subscribe if you guys enjoy this content and let's just get straight into it. And I have not played this game at all, so let's start a new game. Enter my name, let's just put Knight as Nightblade. And let's wait. Hey! From an unknown person. I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw herself. Um, that girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'll never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but, started, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waking, waiting up, waiting up. See, I'm sorry if, my, if I'm not talking that much, or just speaking clearly, my bad. But if she's going to chase me after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just saw an idol in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. <sighs> Hi, I think is what that is. I overslept again, but I caught you this time. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Eh, <sighs> you say like that. You say that like you were thinking about ignoring me, which kind of seemed like that. That's a mean night, yeah. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine, all right. But you didn't wait for me after all. Uh, yeah. I guess you don't have it in you to be a mean, even if you want to, yeah. Whatever you say, sorry. Hehe. <laughs> We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near the streets, we become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Knight, RM, have we decided on the club to join yet? The club? Yeah, what club? I told you already, I'm not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been lucky either. Eh, that's not true. Uh, how do you know what I'm thinking about? You told me you would join this club. This year, oh, well, I, I'm exactly thinking about what I'm saying in the dialogue. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in, in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along what, with whatever she's going about. Sorry, it looks to worry a, a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average, average while spending my free time on games and anime. Seems typical. Uh huh. I was talking about how I worry. I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills for co before college. Well, that's pretty mean of you. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now, but I'd die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. What is it neat, man? You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright, yeah, I think I'm fully okay in a word myself. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Sure. Yeah, I guess. I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let my why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit even if it does exaggerate everything inside of her head the school day is ordinary as ever and it's over before i know it after i pack up my things i stare blankly at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation clubs sorry wants me to check out some clubs all right well what clubs are there I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Alright. Hello, from Sayori. Sayori? 
sorry you must have come to the, into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch up. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the ca classroom, but I saw you just sitting there and spacing out, so I came in. Very well, that's kind of neat of you. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. Alright, you don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know. You know what? Yeah. Well, that you can come to my club. Sorry. Yeah? There is no way that I'm going to your club. Eh, meanie. Well, sometimes you gotta be one. Sorry is vice president of the Lit literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any food, any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she did it only because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she's the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please! Why do you care so much anyway? Come on, sorry. Well, I kind of told... I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. Come on, Sayuri. Uh, I can't tell if Sayuri is really that much of an airhead or if, or if she's so cunning as to have planned out all of this out. I let out a long sigh. Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go. Alright, well, I will be down for a cupcake. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I dejectedly follow Sari across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year class and activities. Where'd the music go? Sari, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Okay, there's the music. Sorry, everyone, the new member is here! That would be me. I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh, I glance around the room. Girl one, welcome to the legit literature, literature club. I think I need to go to this club, because I can't even speak. It's a pleasure meeting you. Well, it's a pleasure meeting you too. Sorry, it always says nice things. Nice things about you. Seriously, you bought a boy and girl too. Okay, you, were you expecting a woman? Because I am not. Way to kill the atmosphere. Wow. Ah, night. What a nice surprise. Girl three, you look more excited than the girl in the middle. Welcome to the club. Yeah, I'm not gonna speak. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. Not gonna lie, they are pretty cute. What are you looking at? Your hair, probably. If you want to say anything, say it. Okay, you have a big attitude, all right? So sorry, sorry. Natsuki. Hmm. Okay, so we know her name's Natsuki. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She is also the one who made up. Who <coughs> Sorry for you guys. She's also the one who made cupcakes according to Sayori. You can't just you can just ignore her when she gets moody. Ha! <laughs> Sorry says that quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. Alright. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Which is her? Yup, Yuri. D don't say any don't say things like that. Well, if she's right, then you she's right. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayuri and Natsuki. Alright. Ah, oh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? No? That's right, I guess I do. It's, a, it's great to see you again, I, I don't remember you though. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other, real 
we rarely talked, but we are in the same class next year. Oh, well, then how do you know where if it's the next year, though? Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, and athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so generally feels like a little... You, you too, Monica. Yeah. Come sit, Knight. We have... We made a room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. All right, not too You got a big attitude. Sorry, I got a little too excited. It's alright, sorry. Then, how about I make some tea as well? Alright, well, I'm down for a cup of tea. The girls made a few desk arrangement to form a table. As Sari mentioned, it's been widened so that there is no space next that so that is where so that Oh my goodness. Same school kids. So that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayuri. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs and wrapped tray. And Yuri opens the closet. Oh my goodness. Still feeling awkward? I, t I take a seat next to Sayuri. Alright. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Ta-da! Whoa, whoa, yes. Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. That sounds delicious. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! From Sayuri. Monica, I had no idea you're good at making Natsuki. And she looks so proud of herself. Eh, <laughs> well, you know, yeah. Just hurry and take one. Saru grabs first, then Monica, and I follow. It's delicious! Saru talks with her mouth full and already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around and my fingers looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Why are you looking at me? Or glancing at me. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I don't know. I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. Pretty sure she did. This is really good. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. What? Well, why are you thanking me? It's not like I... I'm just thanking you. I'm just thanking you. I can't even take a compliment. Come on. Haven't, heard... Haven't I heard this from somewhere before? Made them for you or anything, Natsuki? Eh, I thought you technically did, so I already said. Well, maybe. Well, I'm the new member. In quotation marks. Alright, well, she seems a little agitated right now. But not for y you. No, you, dummy. Okay, I think I read that like a dummy, though. Alright, alright. I give up on not to keep weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Jury turns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before settling down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep, you keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Oh, that's coming for me. I thought it was Yuri. Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. Oh, okay. Nice. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Well, I never actually sat down and read a book before in my life. But, uh, I guess. <laughs> Don't let herself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to, act, trying to impress you. Or uh, is that true? Eh, that's not. Hmm. Insulted Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. Yes. Yes. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So, what made you consider the legend? The... The literature club. Um, I was afraid of this question. Sometimes, something tells me I should tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayuri. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayuri seemed really happy here, so that's okay. Don't be embarrassed. I might be. Well, we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? And president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Alright. 
Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decide to start your own club? You'd probably be the board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you the leader of the debate club last year? Aha, uh -huh, well, you know. You know. To be honest, I can't stand all of the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. Well, that's pretty good. And if it encourages others to get into literature, and I, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica is a great leader. Alright, sorry. Yuri also nods in agreement. Okay, I trust you guys. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. I would figure. Not many people are interested. What is this things on my freaking... I don't know if you guys can see this, but I'm getting ads. Oh no, we close these. Alright. Hopefully you guys didn't see them. If you did, my bad. Not, oh, not many people are very interested in putting all of the effort to start, start something brand new. Um, okay, there you go. What the f- Okay, hopefully you guys don't see that. Especially when it comes- Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that they're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events, like the festival, that much more important. Alright, I'm confident that we can, can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! Well, we'll do our best. You know it. Alright, everyone and the enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls all interested in the same goals. Yes. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they're all so diligent by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, Knight, what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how I little have read these past few years, I really don't have a good way of answering that. MANGA! I muttered quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki suddenly perks up. It looks like she really wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. N not much of a reader, I guess. You can say that. Well, that can change. What am I saying? Like, what are you saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's, Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's so uh, obvious by the way of her eyes looking up and she finds that she finds her comfortable in the world of books, not people. But you know, I liked I liked a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerses me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of image imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Uh, I read horror. I read a horror book once. I definitely grasp something I could relate at it to at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might be. Yuri might as well have. <laughs> what? Yuri might as well have been having a conversation with a rock. Really? I wouldn't expect that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you, I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or take me to another world, then I can't really put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world. If only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki eyes dart over me for a split second. Never mind. What am I, a horror to you? Do I look ugly? Well, that's right. You usually like to write things that's cute, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind the cl last club meeting 
It looks like you're working on a poem called Don't Say It Out Loud. And give that back. Fine, fine. Alright. Hey, hey, your cupcakes, your poems. Alright, I'm gonna read a few more because we already hit the 20 minute mark. So let's just read like a couple more and then we'll probably end at them. Everything you do is just cute, as you are. Sorry, Sidelis. I don't even know how to say that word. You guys can call me dumb, but I really can. But whatever that word is, up behind Natsuki and put her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! Kind of are. Natsuki, do you write your own poems? Eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think it's impressive. Why don't you share them sometimes? No. no. Natsuki averts her eyes. You won't. You wouldn't like them. Ah, not so. Not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing a level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities, and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, we can set, a s set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to show hers. And... Mm, freaking dialogue. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Aww. I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sat there in silence for a moment. Okay, I, I have one good. I have an idea, everyone. All right, we're gonna stop it there. I know it's kind of a cliffhanger, but hopefully you guys have been enjoying this whole episode. And if you do, again, please show some support by smashing the like button. And if you guys are still new around here, please hit that subscribe button. It will help. And hopefully you guys have an amazing day. And. I'll probably make a new episode about this, and goodbye.